So I bring it out from my feet, so, and pass inside. Out from your feet, so, Kieran. So out, so, and pass. Out, so, from the feet, and pass. Out, so, and a nice pass. And when we're making that short side-footed pass, it's important to get into the habits that we'd require when we use the bigger ball, the bouncy ball. Because this ball won't lift, if we're not careful, we can easily be sloppy and take a bad body position. What we need to do in hitting the short pass is get our shoulders and head down over the ball, yeah? Hit through the middle of the ball and the ball will stay low. So out and crouch and low. Good, Kieran. Out, low and hit. Okay, off we go. Staying on our toes. Make a nice body shape as we make the pass. We're using the football to slum ball for these passing exercises. You can use any ball, a size 4, a size 5, whatever you've got at home. We're using this here because it's a good ball to use in the short passing exercises. It's harder to find the middle of this ball, so when you come to the bigger ball, you find that you, the, the bigger ball is easy to use, because you've got to be much more precise with this. But you can use any ball. Kieran, the next one that we're going to do, again, will buy us time if we're getting closed down by a defender. We're going to use the little Emerson move as the ball comes in. OK? Bradley, if you can go and close Kieran down. Yes, if you come from this side. OK? Ready, Key? Nice, and pass. Okay, again. So he's using that to deceive Bradley. Bradley's only seeing his standing leg lifted. He, he takes the ball through behind the standing leg and his whole body then acts as a shield. It's a very simple but really effective deception. So just how it works with Kieran and I, side of the foot pass and Kieran to me. Okay, so you've got to get it out from your feet, through and pass, through and pass through and pass. Well done. Now the Ronaldo move we use as a dribbling move to beat a player. It also has use as a turn and a pass and as a pass receive. It's one of those basic moves that we can learn through our getting to know the ball work. It has many applications that we can use in all aspects of the game. Okay? I'll just give you a quick example of how it can be used as a pass. Mark, if you come into me can take the ball there, pass the ball to me, then Bradley's going to close me down, OK? I've got you there, Kieran. So into me, Bradley, come for the ball as soon as he passes, yes? Yeah? So come in, use the Ronaldo there, and it's perfect because what I'm doing, as well as making a disguised pass that he can't see, my body then is stopping Bradley getting at Kieran, who's got the ball. Again. So I'm shielding the ball, and it gives Kieran plenty of time. One more. So that's the Ronaldo used as a pass. In the same way, the Emerson that we've just looked at can also be used as a pass to the same effect, yes? And again, I'm shielding. Okay, one more. So using the Ronaldo as a pass receive, again, I can buy myself a little bit of time. Bradley, you'll be the defender again. So Bradley's gonna come in from my right, yes? As Kieran passes in, I'm gonna go into Ronaldo. It'll give me space and time and shielding on my left side, enough to pass to Kieran, I could go on a dribble or I could shoot. Okay, Brad? Go. Ronaldo, I've got loads of time, and into Kieran. A lovely little move. Again, go, Key. Bradley has no chance of getting that ball at all. So a little Ronaldo receive, and then a pass. Off we go. We can use many of our main moves that we did in getting to know the ball as pass receives. The Elastic, the Rivaldo, the De Nielsen, they'll all fit and buy us a little bit of space and time. Just to finish here, we're going to do a little couple of tricky receives that are nice to do, nice to look at and watch. The first one, Kieran, that we're going to do, you're going to play into me and I'm going to run over the ball with my standing foot and flick up with my trailing foot into the air, do three juggles if I can and then return to you and you'll do the same, okay? So I'm on my toes, so over. Up, one, two, three, and as it drops, I'll play back and you do the same key. Lovely. And to me, okay, off we go.
Well played. And stop. Well done. So our last one is nothing more than a bit of fun, but with practice it's one that's quite achievable. OK, Kieran, if you're playing to me, I'm going to first lift the ball up with the front air in my foot, step over with the left, juggle into the air with the trailing leg, a couple of touches and then back to you, OK? OK, so up, over, juggle, and on the drop, play, you do the same. Nice, well done. Fantastic. OK, off all of us go. Turning with the ball is a fundamental part of the Brazilian game. The Brazilians are noted for their ability to ask for the ball in one direction but quickly turn and play off in the opposite direction. Mark, if you're going behind Kieran, so let's just imagine that Kieran is getting tightly marked by Mark. So Kieran's going to receive the ball. In English football, people tell you a lot, play the way you're facing. But I think if you play the way you're facing all the time, you're never going to score a goal. You've got to be positive, adventurous and attack. So Kieran's going to turn and attack towards the goal. I play into Kieran, he's going to do the Jarzinho turn, the great player of the 1970 Brazilian team. This was one of his favourite moves when close into the box, turning a defender. And key, you're going to play the ball off your uh, standing leg, OK, behind, through the gap, here, yes, and spin mark. Go, nice. A little turn at the end, and then pass back into me. Go in again, Key. OK. And the second one. Nice. Brilliant. Into me. OK, one more. Nice. And after three, we'll swap with our partner. Just on that turn, if you come back here, we can, if we like, not touch the ball, OK? This leg, our, our standing leg at the back, we're playing the ball off the inside of that leg. If we want, we can just let the ball run through if the angle's correct. So, Kieran. He's just going to step over the ball, OK? So mix them up, do three and then change with your partner. Let's go. OK? OK, good example here from Bradley of the turn that we do, where we're not touching the ball, we're just running over it. What Bradley's doing very well is he's throwing his body over the ball, so if a defender's close to him, the defender's not going to see the ball and will likely follow Bradley. So he's doing a fantastic step and he's timing it very well as the ball comes in, but he's not actually touching the ball. Go on. So I'll follow that and Bradley's gone. Excellent. The next turn that I'm going to look at is the Edmundo. Edmundo is a very famous player in Brazil. He's known for his aggressive front play. He's not figured in the national team for the last two years but he's a very, very good attacker, fantastic attacker. This Edmundo turn he used to great effect against Man United in the last World Club Championships and scored a goal after turning the defender with it. So, Kieran, it's very important with this one that I play the ball in very strongly to you, particularly because it's a football that's long ball and heavy. And what you're going to do is run to the ball and meet it, use your kicking foot as a ramp, OK? Put a little bit of spin in it, the ball should lift up into the air and turn behind you. You go and turn onto the ball. When you get to the other end, OK, I'd like you to do a little cafu turn, just that, bring the ball across your body here, OK? So you get to the other end and just that, yes? Well, let's look at this Edmundo. Are you ready, Kieran? So be aggressive in your run, as the man himself is, and run to me. If you run to me, we'll get more on the ball and more chance of lifting it. Well done. OK, off we go. Good. 